In this video, I'm going to show you three email campaigns every dropshipper should use in 2019. But I won't stop there. I'm also going to explain why emailing your customers is one of the most effective ways to bring in sales, build a relationship with your customers, and grow a sustainable business. By the end of this video, you'll know how email marketing can help you reach more customers than Facebook, three essential email campaigns for your store, and email hacks to increase conversions. Ready to get started? Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Jessica from Oberlo. I'm excited to show you what essential email campaigns you need to grow your business. Email marketing is effective in any e-commerce business, but it's especially useful for dropshipping. Dropshipping, by the way, is one of the easiest ways to start an online business. Instead of buying tons of inventory for your online store, you only order products when you get sales. It's low risk, but being a successful dropshipper requires constant learning. Make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss our weekly tutorials, dropshipper interviews, and product recommendations. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Emails have been around for almost as long as the internet itself. So why are they so important in 2019? Today, there are countless ways you can connect with your customers. As a new dropshipper, you need to find out where your customers are hanging out online so you know where to advertise to them. Most beginner dropshippers are tied between using Facebook or Instagram, but it's essential you use email marketing as well. Currently, 60% of Americans use Facebook and 35% use Instagram. However, over 90% of Americans use email. That's a huge audience. Of that 90%, 40% of Americans check their email one to three times a day. Other than newsletter subscriptions, people also use their email for personal and professional communication. So an email inbox is personal and private, and this is a perfect place to have a one-on-one -on -one with your customers. There is no other advertising method that allows you to have a constant and personal relationship with your customers without burning through advertising budget. And speaking of burning through advertising budget, it's time to compare email marketing to Facebook marketing to see how it stands up. The first and most competitive difference between email marketing and Facebook marketing is the price. You have to pay to run ads on Facebook. If you're testing different products, locations, or ad copy, this cost can quickly add up. Email marketing, on the other hand, is free. Email services for new stores usually have a free plan, so you don't have to pay anything until you have a really big customer base. Unlike Facebook, you can send and test as many emails as you want with your customers. Not only is email marketing free, it gives you more freedom and space to talk with your customers. When running a Facebook ad, you're limited in what you can say in the ad copy. You've got to be short, and the structure doesn't allow you to connect with your audience. When sending an email, there's more space to personalize the experience for your customer. You have more room in the title and the body to share your content. Providing your customer with value in addition to promotion is way more effective at making a sale. Finally, email marketing has a huge advantage over Facebook in where your customer sees the message. When running a Facebook ad, one of the challenges is communicating your message genuinely. No matter the placement, it will be labeled as an advertisement, which makes it harder for your audience to notice it. Emails, on the other hand, are sent directly to your customer's inbox. Someone's inbox is a place where you can personally engage with them, a connection you can't accomplish through an online ad. An email allows you to connect with your customers over their morning coffee or their lunch break. Emails are also more effective at retargeting potential customers. One of the oldest rules of marketing states that most customers need to see a product three to seven times before they buy it. That's why if you run Facebook ads, it's important to show the same ad multiple times to the same person. But on Facebook, you have to pay to show your audience an ad multiple times. With email marketing, you can continue to send emails and personalize the retargeting email for free. Are you excited about emails? Great. Before I jump into the three campaigns dropshippers need in 2019, let me explain what an email campaign is. An email campaign is a message that you share through a bulk email to your store's contacts. Have you ever signed up to a mailing list and automatically received an email? That's an example of an email campaign. There are endless types of campaigns you can create to send to your customers. I'm going to tell you about three essential email campaigns that every e-commerce store needs to have. The first campaign your store needs is a welcome email. You can set up an email to be automatically sent to anyone who fills out a pop-up form on your store. 
You can add a pop-up form to your store in a few different ways. Some email services and Shopify themes have pop-ups built into the theme editor, so check there first. Otherwise, you can find a variety of free email pop-up forms on the Shopify App Store. You might be wondering, what's the point of sending a welcome email to your customers? On average, most emails have an open rate of 21%, but welcome emails have an open rate of 81%. This is your chance to share your brand and your message with your audience. The more familiar someone is with your store, the more likely they'll be to purchase from it. A simple and effective hack for welcome emails is to add a discount code inside. For anyone about to make a purchase, they'll leave their email just to use the discount. For anyone who's just browsing, they'll leave their email in case they wanna make a purchase in the future. If a prospect doesn't convert, having their email is the next best thing. You can start engaging with them and getting them familiar with your brand. Eventually, they may convert if there's a promotion or a product they see that catches their eye. Also, you can use their email to build a lookalike audience on Facebook. Their intent to purchase makes them a perfect audience to target. The second type of campaign dropshippers need in 2019 is an abandoned checkout email. Statistics show that over 70% of checkouts are abandoned online. Abandoned checkout emails let you follow up and close this gap. These customers have shown that they want your product, they just need another little push. You can remind your customers of what they wanted, give them an easy link back, and even offer an incentive to complete the purchase. Shopify has an automatic abandoned cart email built into the platform. In the checkout settings, you can set it to automatically send the email after a certain amount of time. You can also use an app from the Shopify app store or your own email service. Abandoned checkout email apps allow you to automate up to three follow-up emails to your customers. Add a discount to the second or third email to really seal the deal. To really boost the effectiveness of your abandoned cart emails, I suggest adding emojis to the title. Over 65% of brands reported a higher open rate when using emojis in their subject lines. Also, less than 7% of businesses are currently doing this. That means your store's emails will stand out in your customer's inbox. This hack will help you catch your customer's attention ahead of the competition. The third campaign your store needs is an automatic thank you email. You might be wondering why you'd email a customer if you've already made a sale. First, a thank you email will allow you to strengthen a personal connection with your customer. One study showed that customers are 10 times more likely to be top revenue generators when they have a highly personal experience with your business. Not only will a thank you email allow you to connect with your customers, it will help in getting them to return. And returning customers are vital to your store's growth. That's because it's five times cheaper to sell to a returning customer than to a new one. If you only focus on acquiring new customers, you'll burn through your advertising budget quickly. Customers that had a pleasant experience shopping in your store are much more likely to purchase from it again. If you're wondering how to write an effective thank you email, well, keep it short and simple. Imagine you're writing a thank you card to a friend. Sign off with your name to show that there's a real person behind your brand. It doesn't hurt to throw a discount code at the bottom for the next time your customer visits your store. Over to you. Have you ever read an email that completely grabbed your attention? What was it and what stood out to you? Comment below so everyone can get some inspiration for their next email campaign. Thanks for watching and until next time, learn often, market better, and sell more.